Hey everybody, I'm Garrett with Diary of a Family, where we're intentionally living life with you. Today, I'm going to show you how to change your anode rod on your hot water tank. Now, most hot water tanks have an anode rod and it should be inspected at least once a year. Now, we travel full time in our trailer, so we are just going to replace this anode rod with a new one. Consult your user manual on your trailer on how to change an anode rod and how to perform maintenance on your hot water tank. This should be something that you do regularly, so don't skip this. These are the tools you will need. Your 1 and 1 16th socket, new anode rod, and then you want some thread seal tape. There are two things I want to warn you about. You are dealing with hot water, possibly, and you're dealing with maybe some electrical, maybe some gas. Ours is a gas electric, so we do have to consider that. I will uh, show you some of the steps we use to uh, to get to our water heater. A lot of the hot water tanks on trailers have very similar features. Most of this would apply to other heaters. So you open this up, pull this out until it kind of slides through. And there is my hot water heater. There are three main areas to take note of any water heater. They could be different, like I said. For us, we have a power on and off switch. So I'm going to turn that off. I have push to reset. So if you're having some kind of error and you need to reset your water heater, that's where you push it. You have your anode rod, which is right here. And then you have a pressure release valve right here. I'll show you what this does in a second. You do want to be cognizant because water will be pouring out of here to make sure you have no leaks down here because the water could get into inside your trailer and cause some water damage and you don't want that. I took some tape here and I just put it over here. I'm going to have some towels and rags with me so that I can wipe up any kind of moisture or water when we, if there's any that pool up. I'm going to go ahead and open up and remove my anode rod. It might be stuck if you haven't opened it in a while. And that also might happen. I'll pull open this. Oh. Probably should have released some of the pressure here first. We're gonna let this uh, drain out for a second. This is a 10 gallon hot water tank, so there's a lot of water down here. Show you a few reasons as to why you should be maintaining this more often. See all that right there? That's corrosion. And that's all inside this intro. And it's all. Yeah, see? That's corrosion that's inside our hot water tank. I'm gonna take an old toothbrush in here and see if I can get it cleaned out. It's not very hot calcified to it they're not stuck to I mean the anode rod is doing its job and that's what you're wanting I'm gonna work at it just a little bit more get that all cleaned up and then we'll uh, get the new rod put in I'm gonna take this tape off because I really don't need it anymore looks pretty much clean but it looks like my seal is still fine if at all you have cracks in your seals or you're not sure you can always put more sealant on there you don't want water 
getting into your frame of your trailer. Next we're going to take our anoid rod and we're going to put some uh, plumber's tape or thread seal tape around it so that we get a good seal in our hot water tank. So here is our anoid rod. It's an aluminum rod. I think the other one was a magnesium rod. I checked my user manual and it did not say that I had to use a magnesium rod. That and I couldn't find one. This is the same size as what I pulled out. I'm gonna tape up these threads, put it back in, and we'll see if it holds. Wanna put a line right about there. Should be enough. Let's go ahead and reattach it. Let's get it in there. Go. Hope you guys found this video informative as well as entertaining. One of the best ways to learn how to do something is to, in fact, make a mistake and learn from that mistake. I'm still drying from uh, when it exploded on me. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live life intentionally. Bye, everybody.